Couple more things, let's jump over now to Data Center and we'll take a quick look at how you can use Data Center to generate a graph to help be able to understand or represent data. So let's go ahead with Peanuts. Um, back to Peanuts now. and I'm just gonna select these two trials, this dry and this irrigated trial. And then I'm gonna go over here to Data Fields and sure, we can just pull all the data fields in now. Um, and then I'm just gonna click up here to say reload the data. So now I have all the data pulled in for me across those two trials um, in this raw spreadsheet form. And now what I can do is I can come up here to charts and we're gonna set our series to be the trial because I wanna do a comparison between dry and irrigated. And we'll set our, y, or our X axis to variety. And then I'm gonna set my Y axis here to yield. And if you can't find a uh, data field that you're looking for, just go ahead and search for that. All right, so here I am. I now have um, my bar chart that is showing me my comparison between irrigated and non-irrigated yield data for a particular variety at the same location. So this is pretty handy to be able to do a comparison. If I go back here to Data Center, I can actually, if I wanted to, resort uh, this data by just clicking on any one of these headers. So let's go ahead and sort by variety and then go back to charts and you'll notice that now my chart is sorted in alphabetical order. You have additional options here. You can come into uh, your options and if we go back to thinking about when we were asking for um, varieties that were over 3,000 pounds per acre, um, we're looking good here because all of these varieties have exceeded that. But let's say you had a target of 5,000. Uh, that was your what you wanted to represent as your target. We can go ahead here and turn targets on, and then I'm gonna put in 5,000, and that'll draw a nice line across here. So this is really handy if you're trying to represent, hey, I'm interested in any variety that's performed above this um, or below this, and this target line will give you the option to do that. And you can come in here and you can turn on values if you need to be able to see the different values there and adjust those. If you're interested in showing what an average would look like, uh, you can do that as well. You can even adjust right here within the mode being able to sort by the average uh, since you can't do that in the, in the data center view. Um, but you could sort by the average ascending or descending so that you could easily represent who your top performers are or return to the way that you had it sorted based on looking at your data center set pre previously. Um, so that's a high level of, hey, let's generate some charts that are beneficial for us. And you have the option to export that as an image. Um, and then you can include that in any report that you might have. Mm -hmm.